আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু মাই রেগুলার সিরিজ প্রবলেম এন্ড সলিউশন ফর পার্ট 5 টুডে উই উইল সলভ এ প্রবলেম কন্ট্রোলিং সিকোয়েন্স অফ কনভার উইথ ইন্টারলকিং বাই ইউজিং পিএলসি ইন দিস সিস্টেম উই উইল কনসিডার এফএক্স থিওরি অফ মিচিবিসি পিএলসি হুইচ সফটওয়্যার ইজ জিএসএস2 এন্ড এসএমএস সফটওয়্যার ইজ 3 ফর প্রোগ্রামিং তো হিয়ার সাম কন্ডিশন আর ফিডার হ্যাজ এ মোটর মাউন্টেড টু ফিড ম্যাটেরিয়াল অন কনভেয়ার বোর্ড this is feeder motor and this is hopper load cell are installed at the bottom of conveyor belt to detect if material is present on the conveyor belt there are two load cell load cell 1 and load cell 2 when material falls on conveyor belt 1 motor 1 should run this is load cell 1 here motor 1 and when material is present on conveyor belt 2 motor 2 remain on switch can also be used material to detect material presence but for more reliable operation load cell can be used as shown in the diagram so in this program we need four input start button which address is x0 stop button x1 load cell 1 x2 and load cell 2 x3 we need four output cycle 1 y0 that means lam 1 conveyor 1 motor y2 and motor 2 y3 and finally feeder motor which address is y1 so now i am showing how to create this project At first, I am opening GSOX2 Mitsubishi PLC software for create this project. Going to project and taking a new project. Here I am use series Apex series Mitsubishi PLC and which type is Apex 3M. x0 restart button x1 for stop button or x0 for cycle on or lamp on now i am giving device command for easily understand
this is feeder motor x2 is load cell 1 this is motor 1 this is conveyor motor 2 x3 this is load cell Finally, we have done. So now I am convert this program. In this run, lm y zero on. When start push button will be pressed, and cycle can be stopped by pressing stop push button x zero one. In this run, uh, when lm is on feeder motor will be 1 and this run if lamb is 1 and load cell 1 feedback is detected conveyor motor 1 y0 will be 1 and finally at this run if lamb is 1 conveyor motor 1 or load cell 2 feedback is detected Conveyor motor 2 will be run. And this video I will show how to configure this program by using ACMI. Here I am using GT Regina 3 Mitsubishi ACMI software. I am giving software download link in my video description. You can download this software with license key. Okay. Now I am studying. Here I need to create a new project. In this video, I am showing first to last how to configure this project in first i am opening the software here uh, need to change uh, which what you have but you have used only for simulation you can use any series but when you have hardware that time need to be changed otherwise you can use any series for simulation so i am select gt16 for simulation so here uh, manufacturer mitsubishi you can use other plc i am selecting mitsubishi because i am use mitsubishi plc and here uh, need to change which series you use I am using FX series and I am selecting FX series. Next. So this is working place. Uh, at first, I am configured a stand and stop button. And here, I am taking a start button. And at first, you need to addressing which is used in your PLC program. Here I am using X0. So now I am configure X0. Go to B8 option and put X0. 
and action type is momentary because here I am use momentary button okay you can have a uh, text and similar you can take from here a button or to right click and take duplicate for another button And here we need uh, two extra button for simulation because we have uh, not hardware that means load cell addressing is needed Cell two. So now I am taking a bulb for output. So in this project, we need for output at first Y zero. Okay, now I am going to tools, simulator and set and need to change because JSOX2 that in for GX simulator 2.
part needed PLC simulation. Now I am pressing the start button. At first lamp and filter motor is on. And when load cell is detected, feedback is detected, that time convey motor one is run. Convey motor is run. And here a condition if motor one is run or load cell is run, so that time motor two is also run. So now we are pressing load cell two, motor two also run. again start at first lamp and feed the motor run and I load cell one run detected feedback let me motor one motor two run also load cell two is feedback detected motor two is also run now finally I can say this program is only for explanation purpose only you can implement this logic in other PLC also. This is the simple concept of conveyor logic and interlocking them. We can use this concept as other example also. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe my channel and press bell icon button for notification at first. Thank you again. Assalamualaikum.